Yes, sir. Yes, we're back once again. Once more, Chaos Culture Radio. You know Ronnie Ron is here. Yes, sir. And we got a special guest. Matter of fact, Ron, you got to introduce him. No, you got to introduce him. Last time you called him out on the show. I did. Um, It's your turn. Go ahead. You want to know something? It's very so often that we get somebody that's polarizing. Somebody who, when he walks in a room... Chicks' faces change. Really? I, I, I seen that at the baby shower. I gotta see this in person. You man. know what I mean? Always been Don Juan. Always been suavemente. <laughs> You're hilarious, man. Come you know on, I mean? and, and ladies, you know who he is. Less the less chat women know who he is. He's he's our beloved. beloved? One, you know what I mean? One third of the Laurent gang. Not the last name. It, my, bad, my, bad. Hey, my bad. My oh, bad. My bad. My bad. Scratch that. One third of the L game. Our, our boy, uh, our boy. As a matter of fact, I'm not going to even say his name. I'm going to say the name that women need to know because he does lay down the law. Rod Law. Yes. <laughs> Rod Law. Uh, how are everybody doing this evening? Hold oh me. man. Oh man. It was- I, I, hey, how you been, man? Rod Law, how you been? Good, just chilling, you know, working and staying focused on life, God. I like that. You look buff, my nigga. What you been doing? <laughs> I try to work out whenever I can, but you know, I look like you been doing more than work out, like hitting little heavy rocks or something. <laughs> <laughs> look like you just came out the pen or something like that. You know what I mean? But I know, I know the ladies love it, Rod. Right. Let 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 the world know what you do. Let Dade County. George and all these people know what you do because we already know what Mustang Ron do. That's the actor extraordinaire, film producer extraordinaire. Yes, sir. Film director. Yes, sir. We're gonna put that in the name of Jesus. Yes. And I'm gonna extort him when he get a bag. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's what brothers and friends do from the neighborhood. Exactly. We extort the younger guys. So, Rod, what, 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 what do you do? I'm a music producer, songwriter. Uh, computer technician. Uh, I'm a man of many talents. I like that, ladies and gentlemen. You heard us. Hit us up if you need if, if, if you need your viruses to be cleaned. If you need your viruses to be cleaned, you need beats on deck. Don't worry, we're gonna feature his product and, and stuff on that. But we about to get to the task at hand. Yeah, this one right here is a really serious topic. I actually put on my Facebook, and I saw a lot of comments. A lot of comments. Yes, yeah, sir. If it's that serious shit, I might drop this episode tonight for you, baby. Yeah, that'll be great, man. Because these people in India need to know what's going on in the uh, U.S. We might drop this episode tonight. All right, let's people get it. We might get this tonight. Let's maybe get the, it. Maybe the Let's Chat crew might know what's going on. <laughs> they probably do, and especially if we got Raw Law in the house. Raw Law. Hey, I was even surprised you even brought him. He's so elusive. Hey, sometimes you gotta put in his so schedule. Elusive. Man, whenever I see him, it's like it's like I just meet him for the first time. No, like I just try to stay busy, Wada. We know you stay busy. We know you stay busy. <laughs> yeah, he does. You know yeah, what I mean? mean? But don't give out his secrets now. No, no, I'm not giving out no secrets. We know my brother stay busy. So the computers and whatnot. Mm. Mm. He ain't talking about the women's computers. Yeah, it? I know. But the motherboards. <laughs> but yeah, we gotta talk about the topic. Motherboards. Because we're exposing him. We make yeah, him yeah, nervous. Yeah. You know, we gotta talk about the we topic, man. Come so, on. Um, um let, let, let's get to the task at hand, man. Yeah, this is a serious topic right here. Is it okay to check your woman? Mm. Checking a woman. Uh, got you sweaty over here, man. You it know? does sweat it. Plus, we're on that, that wild iris rose. You know what I mean? Shout and, out. And, and let me tell you something. This is a first. Before we dive in, let's give a shout out. Yes. Because I've yes. been having some people say they want to shout. Out. I want to give a shout out to Music Lover Jones. Yes. She knows who she is. I want to give a shout out to Metro Day Police. Shout out. They caught me lacking that racetrack one night. Wow. I fell. I, I, I was lacked. Fell asleep. <laughs> lacked out. <laughs> lacked out with the doors open, wide open, wallet on my lap. While it on my lap, she was like, "Is you okay?" <laughs> Whoa! Even your even your people don't even know about this, bro. No, they didn't know about this. Like I don't know. Lately, I just been on. I just been a sleeping giant. You know what I mean? But she was real nice. Glasses thick, brown tone. 
Well, I mean, you got the number. No, no, I didn't get the number. You know, you, you, you scared when you meet assertive women. Oh. You know what I mean? She was very assertive. But shout out to Metro Dade, Metro Dade Police doing their job for not giving no brother no shout ticket out. or locking me up. Yes, sir. Because I showed up ain't had nothing on me. Okay. So, Is it okay to check your woman? That's what we want to find out. You want to know something? Um, It is okay to check your woman, but I'm going to give you some caveats to that. Caviar, that's too expensive. That's like five ninety nine. Yeah, you know that, but and I'm, I'm gonna tell you now, if a woman is, if she's a woman of God, mm-hmm. if she's truly a woman of God, we're not we're not talking about the Sunday perpetrators. We're not talking about the the the, the Bible school dancers. Wow. If she's a true woman of God, you will never have to check her. She knows her place in that hierarchy. I kind of disagree because at the same time you're still dealing with human tendencies at times. I, I know we're dealing with that, but you also got to understand something. If a woman knows, and, 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 and I'm just being very serious about this, we've all dated different type of women. Yes. I've dated women who was really about God. Yes. And I've dated women who was really groomed to be a helpmate or groomed to serve a man. So when you get into that position, there's certain women you just not have to say nothing to. The type of woman you have to check is a woman who, from a mentality standpoint, don't know who she is. Mm. Or, or you yourself are not in a position to check a woman because she'll hold something against you. No, but sometimes women put you to the test. Sometimes it just might be in your face and say, hey... Big doll, do this and do that. Then, then you got to put in your dominancy and tell her, "Hey, you sit somewhere. You better hold on a minute. Who are you talking to?" And and like I repeat again, when you meet a woman who respects herself, who loves God, why would you even have to check it? Yes, I do understand. You get those kind of women, you might have to put in check. But then you got to understand something. What's the quality of woman she is? But you got to understand something too. Sometimes the woman can be a woman of God, but sometimes you got to check her to see where is she at mentally. That is true, though. But last time I checked, I, I checked dogs and cats. I agree with Wilder on this one. I checked oh, Wilder. Yeah, Wilder. I checked Wild, check, check dogs and cats, though. <laughs> you got Wilder talking to you. Wilder telling what's up. You man. know what I mean? If, if I got to check a woman, then, you know what I mean? That, that must mean you must be a savage. Last time I dealt with savages back when we was in AP, and I ain't been in AP in years. Roll off, man. Tell them what you feel, man. Tell them how you feel about this. Uh, I'm just, I'm just saying, ladies. And, and 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 when I say ladies, I'm talking about encompass all ladies. Know your place. Know your place as a woman, as a woman of God, as a mother to your kids, and as a woman and as a woman to your man. If if that was the case, then God would not made us under Him. I understand that, but sometimes God made you to put the woman in her place. And I'm gonna say this again, brother. See, look, you see, you look, you speak. And I'm gonna, say, and I'm, I'm, I'm gonna say this again, brother. Putting a woman in a place is for dogs and cats. You feel me trying to say? If I gotta check you, then that must mean you're not according. Or you're not beating to the same drum as me. We're not aligning at the same right. Because let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. I've only had good examples of relationships. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes even the bad examples of relationships can be good as well. to tell you not what to do. Now, my mother, been with my dad for over 30 years. Mm-hmm. She wakes up, cook, clean. Bring the food. I've never... I've only heard my dad talk shit about dumb stuff. Uh-huh. But not stuff that it's... Not stuff that has to be done accordingly. Now, when you say check a woman, what do you think things that men have to check a woman about? Um, Her errors. Her ways. For example, one day she might come in you want to say, Hey, I want you to come in lingerie. She come in wearing jeans. Now, when you check her, say, Hey, baby... I told you I want you to come in the house wearing lingerie. Women find that to be very attractive. You see, now, 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 
Now, are we talking about your wife or are we talking about your girlfriend? Yeah. But you gotta understand something too. Sometimes you gotta be your girlfriend first before she comes your wife. I understand that, but 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 my brother, you asking for something big. Are we talking about your wife or your girlfriend? What's the whole purpose of dating if she not? Potentially going to be your wife Honestly though If we go by the good book If we go by the good book And Jesse Lee Peterson said this Um We not supposed to be having sex Before marriage anyway He's right but man The sex is too good I, I, I know that <laughs> I know that man We all like to dunk our donuts You know what I'm saying we all we we all we all sexual deviants at the, You know black men are sexual deviants By nature <laughs> Not all of us now. I don't want nobody to get mad. Not all of us, but we are deviants by nature. But the point the point I'm saying is this. You check you see certain things, you see, that's why I said there has to be a certain level of communication that has to be there with you and a person. But you would know that when you first meet a person. I agree. You know what I mean? So for you to ask and that's why I say you should never, first and foremost, when you meet somebody, you have to get everything out on the table. Because let me tell you something When you start lying about different stuff So if you know you like a woman to come in naked uh, Come in lingerie She has to understand that from the get go That's why you got That's why don't get me wrong If you we live in a secular lifestyle You got to get that sex thing out the way too I agree I remember back in the days If I know The way I know I'm going to stay with you That mm-hmm. sex got to be fine mm. That head got to be fired. This is this is before I converted into who I am today. Preach. You know what I'm saying? To say if you wasn't dropping it low, popping it, or I wasn't skeeting after a minute, we ain't we ain't in no relationship. Wait a minute, a minute? Oh, hold on, that's another topic. But I mean, just you know what I'm saying? But but but, but 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 that's what I'm saying. Like, but when we talking about checking a woman, you know what I'm trying to say, or or getting into that type of realm of putting a woman in her place or her getting out of line. That meaning you're dealing with a different type of woman. But I gotta ask, I, I gotta ask you a question because sometimes when we have men talk, we be like, "How come you ain't check your woman?" Then what are we talking about then? You see, men, it all it all depends on the topic of what we checking a woman about. True that. So what is the topic with that you will check your woman? I'm asking if I basically check a woman if I told her to do something and she did not do it. Mm. I agree. I think you should not so much check a woman, but uh, if you guys get into some type of disagreement, then you say, hey, you know what? You guys talk about that. Communication is key. I, I, I'm with you on this, brother. I'm, I don't believe you should check a woman. Mm-hmm. I, should, I believe you should be assertive and speak your mind regarding a certain issue and try to come to some form of like balance or agreement. Mm. 100%. But mm. also, also look at it from this perspective. Facts. What's the dynamic to your relationship? Do she look at you as the man of the house? Do she look at you as a leader? Whoa. Whoa. Because let me tell you something. Real women, real women follow leaders. Real women listen to men. They listen to men who have things established. But, gonna... but hold on a minute. Hold on a minute because we live in a work society. So when we go to work, what happened? Our boss check us. So therefore, we gotta understand that when you're working with a woman, it, it is work. You have to check her, just like you're working. No, with no, a woman. no, no, no. I, I get where I, I get where you're coming from. I get where you're coming from, my brother. But um, I, I'm, I'm I'm gonna speak to from a perspective. Is I've lived with women before. Uh huh. I've been in long term relationships. Right. And there's key factors to certain things. I've been in a relationship where I wasn't established. Mm-hmm. And I've been in a relationship where I was established. Facts. There's two different aspects of this. When I wasn't established, uh-huh. a woman was very disrespectful. Whoa. Literally, her neck, literally, her foot was on my neck applying pressure. Now, mind you, I wasn't providing anything. I'm just, I'm, I'm here just taking, taking free sack. You know what I'm trying to say? So she was able to talk to me any kind of way because she see no reason to respect me as a man. Mm. Respect is key. Respect is very key. So if you a person, this is why the last episode where we was telling men to be the best version of yourself. Right. Get your money together. Right. Pick up some iron. Put some iron down. Right. Get your money together. Right. 
So when you do get to that point, you can cherry pick who you want to be with. Facts. And you can um, designate the type of woman you want to be around you. And these are the type of women that will break down doors to get to you. Mm. They, 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 they'll be the type of woman when they see you talk to another man, they sit, stand behind you and shut up. Mm-hmm. That's key. Preach. Man. Preach. This is why we this is why this year we telling brothers stop chasing women. Yes. The chase doesn't work nothing. I agree. When these women say that you're sneaky, you're keeping secrets, you're not you're not you're not a man. They're not knowing that you're trying to build an empire. Exactly. Preach. If she truly wants to be that queen, she will A not put you in a position to check her. Second, she'll stand by your side and truly designate herself as what she was meant to be, which is a helpmate. Ooh. I have a story that I read about Will Smith that I want to talk about. Go ahead. So Will Smith was dated Jada early on, and they came and they came across an issue. Mm-hmm. What's the issue? They were, they were like at a party, and Jada cursed him out. So he said, "What?" For he had a newspaper in his hand, and he bopped her on the head with it, and he said, "Jada, come here." So they left the crowd so they could talk mom, like man to, and female uh-huh. about the situation. He said. When in the environment he grew up in, his, his mom and his dad they used to fight, violence, like argue back oh. and forth. He didn't want that type of environment for him and his future wife. Wow. So he showed up himself and said, you know what, this is what I want. If you're not going to jump aboard of what I want, then leave. I like that, it. I, 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 that was a great I'm story. I, I, that was that a was wonderful story. story. So you can't be afraid to assert Now, now let me ask you a question. At this position in Will's life, what was he doing? He was acting, making money. Making money. When he was, was the king. He was the king of... Now, now he, he was the breadwinner, right? Facts. Yes. Facts. Facts. So now, he had to write the check at that point. And, you know what I mean? And you can make decisions to tell him, hey, you can just walk out here, need the keys. But men who's living with women, men who's playing video games, eating their kids' cereal, they can't make those type of statements. I agree Ooh. to a certain degree. But Basically, I believe checks? within yourself, you're already king. You you are okay. Facts. You, okay, listen. Facts. It makes listen. A good okay, point. let's get something straight. You make a good point. By nature and by DNA, we come from a land of kings. Yes. Amen. Point blank. Period. Amen. Now, here's the thing. From a realistic standpoint point of view, you got to act like one as well. I Facts. agree. Now, acting like one, and don't get me wrong, these old rules that's been passed down from generation, where they say the man's supposed to be the protector, provider, and the procreator. These are things that's been working for generations. Now, here's the thing. Where we miss a mark at is not not a lot of men are getting the bag. So, they're getting women without getting the bag. And women are listening to other women, a lot of these feminist channels, to say that, hey, they can talk to you any kind of way, snap their fingers, move you left, move you right. So, if you truly want to be a king in a land of kings, you got to get yourself together. Ooh. I agree. You know we out of time, baby. Yeah, we, we almost out of time. We we got we got two minutes, but this is why I say, brothers, yeah. always out of time. We always out of time. This is why I say, brothers, and this this, this is my last statement. I'm gonna give you a last statement. You have no right to check a woman if you're not the best version of yourself. Facts. What you need to do is, if your woman disrespects you and you feel disrespected, you need to break up with her. Get yourself together. Facts. Go back to God. Yes. Forgive your mom. Forgive your dad. Forgive anybody who you have a problem. Work on yourself so you can meet a woman who won't have to put you in a position to do that. Facts. So, oh, no, I agree. Sorry, I agree to a certain degree. I feel if um, a woman does disrespect you, depending on the context of the disrespect, you do have the right to assert assert yourself and say, hey, you crossed the line here and there. And this is why and how you crossed the line here and there. I, I get where you're coming from. I definitely get where you're coming from. But my brother, if you if you're not working, you're not getting no money, and you're smashing. Because a lot of men think they, a lot of men think they have um, access to certain privileges due to the fact that they're beating something down. Okay, if, if if you if you're beating something down, but you're not putting no money up, and you don't establish your center, or you don't look like the form of a man. How you expect to put somebody in check? Wow. Wow. You're right. That's deep. You know what I mean? Wow. And, and this is the wow. reason why a man who has his stuff together, he has every right to tell a woman, hey, shut up. 
Preach. Preach. Don't talk to me like that. No, that's facts. That's, that's facts. facts. That's facts. That's facts. You know what I mean? But if you don't have nothing that, a woman will come and start spraying you all at the end of the day. You need to pick up, pack your stuff, and leave. Preach. Because let me right. tell you something. Yeah. A man who sit here talking to a woman, that's chatty patty. Preach. And, 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 and that statement goes by, you know, this topic is very deep. The reason we speaking on this topic because a lot of men are nervous how to check their women. But we give you the keys to operate in yourself. Therefore, you can check your woman. Never be afraid to speak your truth to the woman you're dating. If you feel that she disrespected you in any matter or nature, assert yourself and say it. Tell Most definitely. You feel. Espe- fact, especially if man. you especially if you got every all all the check things and checked in line. But if you don't have the things checked in line, you're not in a position to check and you just pick up and leave. But get to that do- spot so you can check her. You, 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 you can, listen, you can tell a woman that you feel disrespected. And you say, hey, I don't like what you're saying that, but you need to remove yourself from the situation, come back home, get yourself together so you can put yourself in a position where women would never have to disrespect you. Yeah, but you know, Walter, we out of time. But at the same time, when we out of time, you got to let them know where they can find us because this hey, topic is deep. Check this out. We on all streaming platforms, all streaming platforms, iTunes, iHeartRadio, Spotify. YouTube, Chaos Culture Radio. Um, donate. If you can't donate, the best thing you can do, subscribe, share this, so people can get this tabernacle. I agree. Facts. Facts. You know what I mean? We, we just trying to give y'all some love and some pimping to take you a long way. And therefore... We are right. Well, hold on. Raw Law probably have something to say. Yeah, go, 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 go Raw Law. Let them know your Twitter. Yeah, yeah, give me a shout out. out. Yeah, I'm surprised you ain't shout out Les Chat. <laughs> shout I'm surprised. Shout out to Les Chat. Shout out to my mom. Shout All the girls in Les Chat. Shout out to the, the, the homie back home in AP. Yeah, give me your Twitter. Your give me your Twitter. Yeah. Remember, they gonna come out to you, man. Hey, let's let's give a shout out to Sandy, the one who was make who made them fire ass shorts he was wearing. Shout out to Sandy for the African shorts that I had on through the baby. On, we, we, the ma- matter of fact, we need to get Sandy on the podcast. Yes, we will. We gotta get her. We, we gotta, gotta get you on the podcast. Sandy, I hope you listen to this. We're gonna get you, and we gotta bring you on the show. Yeah, we got a lot to talk about. But that's how we go. And you can come follow me at Instagram at Ron Ronnie Ron at three hundred five. You know, running around 305 and my Facebook, you're not required to have it yet. For real. Chaos Culture Radio out. Man, I just appreciate y'all just listening. Stay tuned for the next episode.